It's been over 40 years since it finished airing on our screens, but now Some Mothers Do Have Them is back. Yeah, Joe Pasquale is taking on the iconic role of Frank Spencer in a new touring stage production. He joins us now. So lovely Morning. to see Morning. you. You two are funny today. Oh. Like you really don't give a monkey. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? You look great. I can smell the alcohol. Oh, no, don't know what you mean. Well, don't know what you mean. That's what it will be. That's what it will be. So, you, I mean, this is such a loved show. Oh. It ran for three series. Um, people remember it so fondly. Him in particular, they were. It was only 18 episodes. Everybody it's thinks you forever. It? 18 episodes, and that was it. But they were so iconic, and he made such a great job of it. You know, a lot of people don't know, before Michael got the job, it was offered to Normal Wisdom first. Ah. And Norman said, no, it was too stupid for him. You imagine Normal Wisdom said it was too yeah. stupid for him. Wow. Then it went to Ronnie Barker. And Ronnie Barker said it was... You can't imagine Ronnie Barker being Frank Spencer, can No, you? no. And he said it was too physical for him, and then it, Michael got it by default that way. He was in the BBC at the time. And what was incredible about Michael, which I'm assuming you've got to do the same sort of thing, yeah. is that he did his own stunts. It was an incredibly physical and very yeah. clever series. Yeah, we had... Uh, a load of, we, we did spend two years putting this together, putting the script together and, and the physicality of it all, and we realised really early on not to do an impression of Michael. Right. Because people weren't going to buy into that, and the only way to make it work... The reason it worked so many years ago was it was so much of Michael's personality in it Mm. And, and people bought that character, and the only way to make it work again is to put me into it, and people believe it's real. It's, it's an acting job, it's the hardest acting job I've ever had, yeah. because um, it's, you know, I've got the funny voice, but that's about it. I've got to act in this, and I've never really had to act before. So to be this person, take, yeah. take me and put that into that person and make it work. So what about the physicality, then? Well, we, we did have a stuntman come in, right, and, and we have one huge stunt. We have a few stunts throughout the whole thing, but one big one at the end, we have to fall this, down this whole ramp of stairs. It's like 20 feet up, and I go from right top to the bottom. Oh, God. And this stuntman came in, he said, right, I'll show you what you've got to do, and, and I knock every banister out with my privates as I go down as well. Oh. And he comes down, he goes, well, this is what you've got to do, and he did it, and he got up and he saw a wince, he went like that, oh. Right, and limp away. I went, you're all right? He went, yeah, he said, you'll be all right, just do that. I said, you've done it once, you're a professional stuntman. I could do it 168 times. He oh, went, my God! Yeah, you'll be fine, like that. And you could <laughs> see him laying on the floor crying nearly at the end of it. And he, he went out on his knees, and I realised really early on, I have to wear a cricket box, plus a pad. I look like an American football player by the time I finished. I get so much padding, but it's a great experience. And you're doing that every night? Every night, do it, Oh, yeah. my goodness it kills me. me. And what about the set? <laughs> um, the, set the set's quite the whole, special, the isn't sets it? Are, the set's a whole um, integral part of the show itself. Because it's all about um, Frank trying to get on television. He's doing a, he's doing a television show, mm -hmm. a talent show called Stars of Tomorrow. And it's all about Frank trying to get in on the telly. And, and the whole thing, by the end of it, the whole house falls apart. All right. uh, and it's, it's booby-trapped everywhere. And so you really got to watch yourself as you're working through the show. And I said to you before, because I'm sort of introducing <coughs> my kids to sort of programmes, like some of yeah. them do have, and like bringing back some of that older stuff, because oh, they've yeah. obviously never seen it before. But this is a good um, theatre show for kids yeah, because a, of that physicality. It's a reinvention. It's not a tribute to it. It's a whole re new invention of, of the whole thing, because I play it as me. Um, but once again, with, with Frank Spencer's attributes to it, if you can put that to it. Mm. And it's a love story more than anything else. It's all about Frank, um, Betty's trying to tell him he's pregnant, he's trying to get on the telly, he's redeveloping the house, the vicar's coming around for dinner, his mother-in-law's coming around with the bank manager trying to get bank loan, and by the end of it, the whole, his whole life falls apart in two hours, including mm. the house. And, uh, and it's just a great, it's two hours of hard, hard work for me, but it's, it's just see a whole audience rock with yeah. laughter. Yeah. Well, yeah. <clears throat> it wasn't initially no. taking off, was it? First two weeks, you know, people thought, you know, a lot of these transitions from, from television to stage, they just do a couple of episodes, and this isn't that, this is a whole piece on its own. And then Quinton Let's Come to See It from the Daily Mail gave it, you know, a huge uh, review, and we had, um, I think, 48 reviews, 48 five- and four-star reviews across mm, the board. And it's just taken off. We're looking at Australia, uh, talking at producers West End now, and, uh, yeah, it's just taken off in a big way. And the original seed for this was sown when you were doing spam -a I was doing spam in town, yeah, at the Playhouse Theatre, and it was a really hot day. My fan wasn't working. I wired it up, plugged it in, and the director, Guy Answorth, a young lad, he was great, he's a genius, plugged it in, and it blew up. He went, you're a bit like Frank Spencer. <laughs> and a light bulb came up in his head. He went, you ever thought of doing it? He went, no, not at all. We contacted Ray Allen, the original writer, yeah. and um, he'd been coming to see me for donkey's years. Lived mm -hmm. on the Isle of Wight, nearly 80 years old. And uh, we leased the rights off him, and in my contract with him, I'm the only person allowed to play Frank. He's yeah. got it so. Is so that not... right? He yeah. said he said wow. no to adaptations in the past. Yeah, he said he? no. He's always been the wrong person <clears throat> to play the part, and he's been following me for twenty odd years. And he said, if you want to do it, it's yours. He said, but you're the only person I'm going to allow well, to play. Well, I mean, that's such it's a huge honour, yeah. actually, isn't it? Yeah, and he's a genius. Well, if you ever meet him, he looks a bit like Tony Hancock, but he is Frank Spencer. He's so 
it, it's so lovable, you just want to cuddle him all the time. And one of the lines in the show is the very first day of rehearsals on the television show, they didn't know what to put Frank in, didn't know what, what costume to put Michael Crawford in. And then the costume designer went, what about that funny costume that man's wearing over there? <laughs> and he had the beret and the, and the cap and the mac on like that. And he went, this isn't a funny costume, this is what I wear all the time. No way. And that's him, that is who, that was all raised, so that line is actually in the show. That's clever, oh, that's isn't brilliant. it? Fantastic. yeah. Um, there's, can you just clear this up? Because I, I didn't, couldn't tell whether it was because I was out last night yeah. or whether this is a true story. Whoa, whoa. But I read that Yuri Geller bought a piece of toast with your face oh, yeah. on it on but, eBay, and I yeah. was like, well, I'm just going to read that again. What happened there? Well, I'd done, you know, how long ago was I done The Jungle? It was 16 years ago I'd done I'm Celebrity, right? Was it, was it? Can you believe it was 16 years ago? And uh, somebody put on a piece of toast on eBay with my face on it. All they'd done was burnt a bit of toast and scraped a smiley face on it. it says Joe Pasquale. I mean... Is that it? It that's also it. could right. be that's anyone that's else. It could be anyone. <laughs> he paid £750 so pounds for that, Somebody contacted me and said, the bloke that's bought this paid £750, will you have a, a picture? So I said, yeah, who is it? Got my son Nutter. Yuri Geller turns up, can you sign it for me? So you're having a laugh? No, no, of course. He's off his head, Yuri, you know what he's like. A bit of toast, <laughs> 750 quid. I'd got a loaf at home, I'd do for him. For, <laughs> for, 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 for <laughs> Are you also um, studying earth sciences yes, at the yeah. Open University? Yes, yeah, Open University. Yeah, yeah, I've got. Yeah, look, why, look at your face. Well, I mean, it's just like, so random. Yeah, I know, it's not for me, I love it. When I was a kid, my dad took me down to Gray's Beach in Essex and I was picking up all rocks and clay pipes and crystals, and I've had a huge fascination with it. And then I worked with Brian Blessed a lot, doing a lot of voiceover stuff, and Brian, he was a huge. You, know, you must work with Brian a lot. Yeah, yeah. He's off his head completely, and he's a huge inspiration to me. You know, he's talking about going up in the space station when he's nearly 80. Yeah, he's amazing. Yeah. So he just pushes me to do stuff all, all the time. Well, it's good like, for you. He's like a, a, like a, a, spe a special heavenly godfather to me. Oh. He's been pushing me. Well, you oh, need those. we could do with him here um, today. Some mothers do have them. It's a nationwide tour. It starts on the 26th of February and, uh, and goes on until the 18th. Nice. You're looking at my sheriff's badge. I right am there. looking at your sheriff's badge. I find I get a lot more respect when I wear the sheriff's well, badge. Well, I, <laughs> I did. I kept looking at it. You've stuck that on there. That's not part of the jacket. No, of course I put it on the other sheriff. What do <laughs> <laughs> you You know, see, it's, it's horses tied up outside. <laughs> it's everything. <laughs> yeah. If there's any trouble, people can't wait. Get Joe in. <laughs> I'll keep all the trouble out of town. You two, <laughs> you better watch yourself today. <laughs> Thank you, Thank Jack. you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. What is that?